Good day, dear students. You are welcome to my distance lesson. I am Kubaeva Jana Jumabaevna from school number 46, Uralsk, West Kazakhstan region. English lesson for the sixth grade and unit number eight, our neighborhood. The theme of the lesson is shops. So, learning objectives of the lesson. Ask simple questions to get information about a growing range of general topics. Recognize the attitude or opinion of the writer in a short text on a growing range of general and curricular topics. Begin to use basic abstract nouns and compound nouns and noun phrases describing times and location on a growing range of familiar, general and curricular topics. So, look at the picture, please. You can see shops. There are many shops in the street. You can see Melton Street, Apple Street, Park Street and Harper Street. Now, Let's repeat these words. Shops. Bakery. Chemists. Florists. Sports shop. Opticians. Bookshop. Post office. Newsagents. Supermarket, music shop, jewelers, clothes shop, bank. Now repeat after me once more. Shops, bakery, chemists, florists, sports shop. Opticians, bookshop, post office, newsagents, supermarket, music shop, jewelers, clothes shop, bank. Very nice. Now look at the screen and read these sentences using the shop, new words about shops. Where can you buy bread? You can buy bread at a bakery. Where can you buy stamp? You can buy stamp at a post office. Where can you buy foreign currency? You can buy foreign currency at a bank. Where can you buy a gold ring? You can buy a gold ring at a jeweler's. Where can you buy trousers? You can buy trousers at a clothes shop. Where can you buy food? You can buy food at a supermarket. Where can you buy musical instruments? You can buy musical instruments at a music shop. Where can you buy magazines? You can buy magazines at the newsagents. Where can you buy books? You can buy books at a bookshop. Where can you buy glasses? You can buy glasses at an op opticians. Where can you buy football boots? You can buy football boots at a sports shop. Where can you buy flowers? 
You can buy flowers at a florist. Now, read this sentence yourself, please. Ask question. Very nice. We we'll continue our lesson. Propositions of place. Now, look at the words. Look at the words of propositions of place. Let's read and translate. Above. Behind. Between. In. In front of. Next to. On. On the right. On the left. Under. Read these words yourself, please. And look at this picture. You can see boxes and a ball. Let's make up sentence using these prepositions of place. For example, the ball is above the box. The ball is behind the box. The next picture. Where is the ball? Let's make up your own sentence using these prepositions. Between, in, in front of, next to, on, on the left, on the right, under. Write down your own sentence. Good luck! So, dear my students, make up the dialogue using the new words and the prepositions. For example, listen to me. Excuse me, where's the bakery? It's on Apple Street, next to the chemists. So, make up your own dialogue. You may use these examples. So, let's conclude our lesson. Feedback. Answer my question, please. The first question. Where can you buy bread? Yes, you're right. You can buy bread at a bakery. The second question. Where can you buy books? Yes, you're right. You can buy books at a bookshop. The third question. Where can you buy football boots? Yes, you're right. You can buy football boots at a sports shop. Very nice. Your home task. Fill in the blanks using the correct prepositions of place for each one. You may use these prepositions. In, under, next to, near, on, above, between, behind, and below. There are eight sentences. Thank you for your attention. Good luck. See you in the next lesson.